welcome back to my channel today we are vlogging and my idea for today is to do kind of like a day in the life but mainly focusing on a few tasks that i have that i need to do around the house and my first topic on my agenda is that i want to organize my closet and i would like to declutter it and create somewhat of a capsule wardrobe. I kind of do this already but I really want to take out the items that I'm no longer using because the temperature is rising where I am and I'm talking a little bit uh, like almost whispering because I have my sleeping baby on me and Caesar is currently sleeping in the room next door but it's been a rough couple of days and baby boy is currently going through like a sleep regression I would say he is two months old and a few days and I swear you guys I think that he's getting a tooth I feel like one of his front bottom tooth tooth are starting to to show and he's just super fussy and for the past two days the only thing he wants is to be held and I can't get anything done. Yesterday however I did organize his clothes and I'm quite happy with his drawer at the moment but I still want to rearrange some of the things. This, this is not working for me but at least I have his clothes that fits him right now and uh, yeah one task less right now. But in my wardrobe, it needs to be like a multi-functional wardrobe. So on this side is basically all of my things. And most of my items are either hanging here or in these drawers. All of these items, there's nothing wrong with them, but most of them I'm never using. And I don't see the point of keeping them in my small, tiny little closet that I have if I don't use them. Yeah, I, I don't like the clutter and it's giving me a little bit of anxiety to look at all these clothes thinking that I have a lot of options but in reality nothing fits me anymore. Mainly on my bottom half my clothes do not fit me anymore and uh, I don't know <laughs> I just need a refresh and on the other side of my wardrobe I have like if you have followed me for a while you know that I have baby boys clothing and things here. It used to be a lot more organized and tidy so I would like to just go through all of these things as well and see what I need to pull out that he can start to use now or what I want to get rid of. I did go over his clothes yesterday so that's why it's a lot more gaps here but on top for example I feel like I could be utilizing this space a lot more. I have a really really big shelf here and uh, yeah I feel like I could could put more things there um, but yeah so my big task for today is to try and declutter my wardrobe and hopefully feel a little bit motivated in the morning when I need to get dressed and I have an idea let me know what you think down in the comments but I would like to put my outfits together in advance because in the morning when I want to get dressed I have like less than a minute to decide what I want to put and my idea is to on one hanger put like an entire outfit together but let me know what you think guys if you think that could be a good idea because I feel like I really need to <sighs> I just want to get motivated basically to get dressed in the morning and to get ready because when I do I feel so much more productive and uh, I don't know I just feel so much better today for example I have minimum effort in I'm on third day hair I just basically put it up in a ponytail because I know that he's gonna be very challenging today and when I'm working on something I don't like to have my hair in my face um, but I have one pair of jeans <laughs> that fits me currently my mother kindly sent me some money to to get something that I wanted for my birthday and I decided to get a pair of pants because I don't have any one or any one that fits me at least so I have one pair of jeans and a few of these kind of cardigans that I love to wear and a couple of like graphic tees that basically my my wardrobe for you guys that I use so we're gonna go through all of these lovely items to see which one I decide to keep and which one I decide to donate and which one I want to put for my winter capsule wardrobe so all of my winter like 
thick cardigans, for example, will be going in a storage box. I have a big plastic tub that I'm gonna put all of my really, really specific for winter pieces that I no longer will need. Um, and I'm gonna probably store them on top back in the closet. And for summertime, I'm gonna do the same thing. So I will be rotating through. On top there, you can see a little box of shoes. I went through that yesterday and I only saved the shoes that I know that I like to wear. And uh, to be honest, there is a couple of shoes in there that I probably could get rid of as well. We shall see if I do that, but. Hey guys, so it's a few days later and uh, I had to take a little pause in the vlog because we did receive some really bad news. Caesar's father passed away on Father's Day and we have been just all <sighs> very distracted from our normal day life or everyday life so to speak and I didn't really feel like picking up the camera. Um, but today I'm continuing the vlog. Hector and I are about to head to the shopping center. I need to pick up a few things for their Easter baskets and I want to try and put together their Easter baskets today so I have that ready for when we are about to celebrate the Easter. It's still a couple of weeks left before Easter but I still want to do it so I can get this video out for you guys and hopefully give you some inspiration of what you can give to your children and so we're gonna do that I still have a few things more that I need to tackle with my wardrobe and but I am making a separate video on my wardrobe declutter and uh, yeah just gonna try and keep it very positive I'm gonna try and do the things that make me feel good and um, yeah I have been crying a lot these past few days and I was to the point where I felt like I don't want to start to be become depressed now. I need to stay strong for Caesar and I need to, you know, keep going. Keep going and uh, there is just a lot going on behind the scenes that I can't really tell you about. I don't feel comfortable sharing his personal things um, on here. So I know that you have understanding for that, but just know that this weekend, this past weekend have been really rough for my family. And if you follow me on Instagram, you already know that um, that he passed away and Natalie's grandfather passed away. So let's go. Let's uh, see if we can find something for, some things for their Easter baskets and we'll try and make something cute out of it together. <laughs> If you can hear me now guys it's a little bit windy but in the end I, I got there I got to the shopping center and I did pick up a few things for my Easter baskets um, however <laughs> Hector was sleeping all the way there and when I put when I stepped into the shop the first shop he woke up screaming bloody murder and I had to sit half an hour in the lactation room uh, that they have there next to the toilets to feed him and then I had like 10 minutes to do the shopping so I didn't have time to go to any other stores which is a shame so I will have to use the baskets I have and um, I can't really put it together now when Natalie is with me so we shall see if I have time today if not the vlog will continue one day more because I do want to share what I end up giving them for their Easter baskets so I think I will continue the vlog tomorrow now we're just out in the urbanization walk in a little bit Natalie is on her bicycle and Hector is sleeping in his stroller shall we walk darling yeah, come. I'm coming I'm coming I go this way <laughs> and she is just so so cute on her little bicycle she have become a lot more like less scared of it now she used to be uh, a little bit intimidated of her like bicycle finally we're gonna do the easter baskets for the kids and i have these two adorable baskets that my mother made for me when i was pregnant with natalie and i thought i would uh, utilize them as easter baskets so 
I will see, <laughs> I don't know for which kid I will put what basket yet. So I need to try out all of the things that I have here and I'm gonna see which one fits better. And I'm gonna tell you all of the things that I have put inside, like last minute ideas, because today it's actually just one week left <laughs> until, uh, until Christmas, I was about to say, until Easter. And I know that most of you probably already have your stuff together <laughs> so to speak but I'm not I'm running late so these are the baskets that I will be using I like that I can reuse them last year I had these ones for Natalie's Easter basket and I love them they are so cute but I wanted them to have like something similar this year so I decided to go for these ones and I have all of these goodies to distribute uh, many things for both of them it's not a lot of candy but I will explain to you why in a moment I have my morning coffee here it's getting cold I have been to school with Natalie her Easter break or spring break will begin as of this afternoon so I really need to get this done okay I decided that I will go through excuse my face <laughs> I literally just woke up. I haven't washed my face. I haven't done my makeup, anything. I have yesterday's clothing on, but I really need to get this done because baby boy is cluster feeding and if I don't do this now, I will never get this done. So first I have a book that Natalie's daddy picked out for her and we were not sure if we were gonna bring it or give it to her now or for her birthday, but I think I will include it in the, in the basket. And it's basically 12 Disney stories like super cute picture book with a lot of stories to read and I just really really enjoyed the colors and I felt like it was very su suitable or su well it was very suitable for springtime and for Easter with all of these lovely colors so this is going in Natalie's basket I like to include like uh, reading materials <laughs> every time I get a chance because they get so bored with their books but honestly we have books that we have been reading like every day for the past four years with Natalie and she never gets bored so maybe it's an excuse for me not to get bored I also include uh, this five euro dress that I got from Primark I like to include some kind of spring or summer outfit for Natalie and she loves dresses she's this super She's so girly, you can't believe. She's like everything floral, pink, dresses, ruffles, is her jam. So I decided to give her this cute little dress that I got from Primark. Like I said, it was only five euros. And I think that she will be able to wear this maybe for her birthday or something. So I will be putting this in the bottom to make it a little bit more full. I picked up a spring and summer hat or cap for her with this cute little unicorn. I spent about two euros in this one. We found it in our local grocery store and I was like, score, because it has the same pink neons that she loves. She used to have something similar when she was a baby and she was devastated when she couldn't wear it anymore. So this is going in the basket. And what would a Easter basket be without some sunnies. I got her these super adorable sunglasses from Primark, the Minnie Mouse version. As you can tell I have a very small face and <laughs> they fit me basically. Um, but she have already seen these ones but she kind of forgot about them so I'm gonna include them uh, in the in the, the little um, basket. And she will be like oh there they are but never mind. <laughs> Um, I also wanted her to have some kind of outdoor play, um, so I picked up a pack of four, four pack bubble tubes, and these ones, they are only one euro thirty cents, so I decided to split them up, and I'm gonna give her two of the spring colors, and I'm gonna save the other two for her birthday, and um, so these ones are going in, and then she has this obsession with my nails. You wouldn't be able to tell because I haven't gotten a manicure for about three months now. So um, I really need to take care of that. But anyway, 
uh, I, I found this purple glittery press on kids nails for playing like pretend and I thought she would get a kick out of this I would never get her like any kind of false uh, nails with glue because that in my opinion is not healthy but these are press on and I think that uh, as soon as she wash her hands they will fall off and uh, she have been playing with her daddy a game like she where she takes like kind of like clay and she molds her own nails and make um, so I thought she would get a kick out of these and they are sparkly and girly so these ones are going in and then the last thing before the candy is these little okay, five pack of rings that I got from Primark, 2 euros. She has been asking me for for rings of her own for a really long time. So when I found these ones, they were kind of matching with the theme of the hat and all of that. I thought she would get a kick out of these and you can adjust the size of them. And they will remind her a little bit about my ring that she's always asking to borrow. So she's gonna have her own set of rings. She's getting so big, you guys. Um, and I will include also some Easter egg, like chocolate eggs, I will show you. And lastly, for her basket, I picked up these chocolate eggs with like uh, various colors, quite small ones, but I will be opening this and I will just, I think, distribute. Or maybe not, I'm not sure. I don't want to get chocolate on the clothes. I might put them in. I have a little plastic egg. Um, under my bed but I can't get to it now because scissor is there but I will be including these ones so imagine <laughs> the eggs also in her basket um, she knows that I'm getting her chocolate eggs so she's not gonna get surprised about that but anywho that's her basket I'm not gonna give her any more candy because I know that our neighbors are gonna spoil her with candy so I don't feel the need to buy her more um, okay, and for baby boy, this is actually something I didn't get. And this was on my doorstep from our neighbors. They are so kind, you guys. They always get our kids gifts for the holidays and that kind of thing. And this is something that I wanted to get for him. It's one more sleeping bag. I have one in size 0 to 3 months, I think. And this is size... I think this was 3 to 6 months. Anywho. Uh, and I just love, love these ones for him and uh, I thought why not include this in his Easter basket because he's not really gonna know what's inside, I mean he's only two months old so <laughs> this is more for me um, but I, anyway I wanted to include that and I also wanted to give him a couple of books these are Natalie's old books so you don't have to get anything everything new for your children I mean you can you can thrift or you can look what you have and what you can repurpose and these books were a gift from Natalie's grandfather she got them when she was baby and she has outgrown them and they are in really good shape and I thought they could be a fun Thing to to give to him because I want him to have his own little collection of books and uh, yeah that's a way of starting interacting with him so these ones are going in his basket like so um, and I'm also including this is something that he will start to use in, a, in like one and a half month time uh, this is to help with teething and he's starting to show signs of teething already but he's too little to get any kind of remedies so I got this like a I will need it soon kind of thing and it looks like a pacifier that you can chew on and you just add this little cream to it and it's gonna soothe their their, their mouth and it's safe to swallow and you can use it during the teething and it helps to fight bacteria development and I thought that was a super smart idea it's from the brand Newbie I don't know exactly what brand is but it's completely natural and vegan so it was quite expensive I think it was about 10 euros this was like half my budget for him I had a budget of I think about 30 euros in total for all of this and um, the big book I'm not included in uh, in my budget because Caesar got this for her and I'm not including including this one either because this was a gift from our neighbors but mm, so that's going in somewhere I don't know where exactly 
and maybe yeah, so and then I also got him this was also from my neighbors when he's gonna start to uh, lead, may, maybe not lead winning but start to, to try a few things like fruits and that kind of thing I wanted to give him this little bead in a few months time he will be starting all of this exciting milestones you guys it's so fast and this is his toy that i got this was about seven euros six or seven euros and it's from bebe comfort it's the brand and it's from uh, his age or it's from three months plus uh, and it's basically just a, a rattle that you can tee it on as well so it's a wooden toy that he can chew on and it makes noise when you shake it with this little ball and I thought it would be easy for him to grab and uh, learn more like motor skills with his hands. So this is kind of, I think this is my favorite thing of all of the things that I got for them. So that's going in his basket. And then I'm just going to pop in a couple of extra binkies for him. He's probably not going to use these ones because he has others that is, that's his favorite. But I want to include them because they have this green spring color and I wanted to give you guys an idea also what you could put. So I'm including these ones and he's obviously not getting any candy. So this could be like <laughs> instead of his candy, so to speak. Um, and that's all. That's all I'm giving them for Easter. I'm kind of loving how it turned out. I am probably gonna try and decorate if I have the time. Maybe put their na name tags, DIY, some kind of name tag. Natalie and I did this Easter craft which is so cute. We took her handprints and we cut out and we made like little Easter bunnies and I was thinking, I also made a garland for my living room with Easter bunnies um, that are more like realistic Easter bunnies. Um, I will show it to you, but this kind of thing you could just add and make something really cute to your Easter basket Maybe include their names or Whatever you don't have to get everything New I know that it's fun to go out and get everything new and shiny, but I mean I don't know about you guys, but my wallet since this pandemic have <laughs> Very much reduced so this is like my last minute ideas for you guys and on a budget so 30 euros I spent, I, I thrifted some things, I got a couple of things new and then I have repurposed a few of the items so I hope that gave you an idea and if you like today's video friends don't forget to subscribe I have many more videos coming your way, my next video is my refresh of my closet and it's turning out really really good so you don't want to miss that but thank you for watching today friends and i will see you guys soon much love and happy easter if i have not the chance to talk to you before.